Alright, now you got the good news for me. So now, today's video, we're going to set up Trinity's cage, uh, the new avicular versicutter that I bought from uh, Shannon. So that's going to be coming probably, as I said in the other previous video, uh, late this week or early next week. Uh, tomorrow, there's going to be a lot of videos that are going to be posting up. If it rains tomorrow, which I think it should, because judging by the clouds here and the clouds here, um, I'm going to make the June tea tour video. Uh, it's going to be in multiple parts, probably aiming between five or six, and as well as a packing video of uh, me packing up uh, two tiki slings for Shannon when uh, because we offered. We made a trade for $60 plus and two Dikas things. So I think that's a fair deal. <laughs> okay. So back to the cage setup. Oh yeah, by the way, we did get a 5.7 magnitude earthquake uh, this afternoon. It happened around 1.30. Naturally, I didn't feel it. I was surprised because um, I guess from the vibrations in the lawnmower, didn't you actually feel it? I, I could tell some uh, houses got some power outages and a lot of shaking going on, so I ran all the way up to my room to see if my teas were fine, because you know, they're all packed in the shelf and they seem to be fine. Okay, so now, enough said and done with, let's go to the uh, Vicalaria Versicolor setup. So, what you're looking at here is just an ordinary 5 gallon glass tank. You get them at pet stores here. Here in Canada, especially where my pet store is, they sell these enclosures for $25 and another $25 just for the mesh. Kind of high price if you ask me. So, so what I did here is have a little plexiglass mounted on here so the substrate doesn't fall off when you're doing tank maintenance. And there's a little, little hole that I took off so that will uh, secure the lid. So the substrate here is potting soil, so I'll show you the bag once again. Alright, so here is the bag that I use. I show, feature this in the cage prep of my G. Rosea. So I tend to use potting soil because it's really good for teas. Uh, people are, keep asking me about substrate choices and I guess I'll address this in this video. Uh, either Eco Earth, this is the earth that comes in a brick, that works. Uh, coconut fiber works well. And uh, peat moss or potting soil, which is great choices. Poor choices is straight vermiculite. I know I have some teas that are on it and been meaning to change them. And cedar. Avoid cedar because this is extremely toxic to tarantulas and um, they could die from it. So not cool. Okay, so in here I have my uh, cork bark, so let's go do the uh, cage setup. Alright, so I got my cork bark here. I got this at the um, Reptile Expo back in March. So, I'm kind of contemplating whether or not to put the little fake plant that Tetra had. But I'm probably thinking not because I really want to see the Ivicolor Versicolor and make some cool videos on it. So what I'll do is I'll use Quark Bark instead of that. We'll put that for future tea. So what I'm going to do is uh, put this in here and make it very similar to an arboreal tank. So, so this is very simple and you'll probably see the tea often so She's got a lot of place, maybe she can do a little webbage. So here I have a water dish, that's always a necessity for any specimen. So with Vicolor Versicolor, you do have to keep them a bit more moist than uh, typical tarantulas, you know, like G. Roseas and B. Smithy. Other than that, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, so I'm going to see if I have some plants, or like fake leaves like this, and maybe put it on here to make it really look nice. So we'll be back. So I have returned with some goodies. Some sphagnum moss and some fake leaves. I've been saving this uh, since my chameleon died. I have another cork bark. Uh, I don't know if I should use it. Let's experiment to see which is better. 
Um, I think that works. There we go. Uh, then we'll just add some leaves and we'll make it look nice. So, voila! I think this will uh, suffice. So it's got cork bark. So she's got plenty of room to hide if she sows the desires. So this is a little cage prep for uh, Trinity, the new Eviclair Versicolor that I'm going to receive uh, within the next couple of days. And uh, that's it, and hope you enjoyed it. Alright guys, later.